What's up, guys? Welcome to Clash of Clans. This is JL. Right now, I'm down to 978 trophies. Um, to farm down here, it's not as easy as um, just update it. So, um, and also, when you farm at this low trophy, it's kind of hard to search your enemy. Because um, it's just like the 4,000 above, 4,000 trophy above. It's just like you're going to the cloud and it's going to take pretty long time to search enemy when you get especially lower than 700 trophy. And yesterday I just went down to 500 trophy. And guess what? After I get offline for like 30 minutes and some people just give to me like, they just I just they keep winning the defense. I ch people just keep giving me trophy, just like I giving them the trophies like this. Like he keep giving them the trophy, and then I was down to five hundred. Thirty minutes later, I will log in again. I was like nine hundred or eight hundred something. So it's pretty hard to lower your trophy under five hundred at this uh, after this update. It used to be very hard to lower than 200 trophy. Anyway, the main reason the main reason making this video is now because of farming. So I'm going to talking about the war we just ended. Uh, we ended the war uh, yesterday, last night actually. Um, we again we win the war, and we got 29 three stars. So uh, we I think we back to normal. The only difference is we can't get as much as 3 star Town Hall 10 uh, compared to uh, before update. So um, there's there's only one 3 star Town Hall 10 we made. So I'm going to show you how we did 3 star. And we basically we're using Gold Hawk Rider strategy. And you're using four golems, and as you can see, and you're going to attack from the, again, the place where you can take down one enemy queen. And you want to take the um, direction where you can take down one infernal tower as well. And you're going to release your hawk rider about like two infernal tower attacking your golem not one I it's gonna be two so when two inferno towers attacking your right now you see it when two inferno tower attacking your golem you're going to release your hog rider so you must bring a lot of golem if not then it's hard for those golem to tank and go and go to the center and in addition you need to have about 35 level 35 heroes and above so uh, it's pretty high like requirements for most people by now uh, I really do not know what's the best strategy for Town Hall 10 um, because the three star strategy that that's the um, that strategy go hog rider strategy it was exist before actually this update but not many people using that because um, the Lava Loonian or Go, Go Lava Loon actually was a lot better than Go Hog Rider. So that's why people were using that all the time. But now after the Air Sweeper came out and everybody now having level 3 Air Sweeper. And it's going to be level 4 now. And that's why people... Um, it's not as easy to use that strategy. And in our clan, we decided to all, pretty much, all of us going to use uh, Go Hog Go Hog Rider. Um, if we decide to get three star, so if you want to get pretty stable two star, we like to use um, Giant and Wizard strategy. We don't like to use Go Wipe. If you are in Champion League, you know that you use Five Golem and Wizards. 5 go, go wipe strategy instead of 3 usually use 3 now I'm going to show you uh, what we did at like what at, what kind of attack strategy we used after new update we use go hawk riders pretty much to every base because that's a pretty stable to get 2 star in addition if you are lucky and you can get 3 star so it really depends on where are the giant bomb and 
uh, whether you're lucky enough. But the chance of getting three star is pretty much a quarter, or maybe lower, a fifth chance to get three star with a go uh, hog rider strategy for Town Hall Ten. Um, but if you're using the old lava gold lava lunian or lava loom strategy, you can still get three star. But the chance is about the same as uh, it's like about the same, maybe a quarter chance. The downside I have talked to you about this. The downside of、uh, gold lava loon is you're going to like when you fail attack, you're going to get one star or zero star. But with the gold hog rider, you can pretty much like not guarantee nothing is being guaranteed. You can pretty much more than fifty percent chance you're going to get two star. So that's pretty. Good, and you have about a quarter chance to get three star. So a half chance to get two star, a quarter chance to get three star. You pretty much seventy five percent chance you're going to end up some good result. So that's a pretty good strategy to for current town hall ten. Is basically you need to bring four to five golems. Other than that,、um, about fifteen to twenty hog riders. The rest will be wizards. And、uh, some archers and、uh, whatever to clean out the side. So,、um, and that strategy is pretty stable. I'm going to show you another one.、Uh, this one is、uh, is my clan member. He decided to use go lava loon. That's old strategy. That strategy was a pretty good strategy. But the downside, and I told you, if you success with this one, you get three star, and the chance of three star is higher than go hog rider.、Uh, if I say go hog rider is one fifth, then this is one quarter, or、oh, it's just a little bit higher than go hog rider. But the risk, the penalty, the downside is actually a lot for this one. If you fail attack, and you're going to end up one star or even none. So that's a pretty like you don't want to waste your attack, right? So、uh, just be very wise to choose what kind of chubby gonna use. And you know what? In this case, this base you can actually use go wipe, and which has about the same chance to get three star, because the wall levels are pretty low, and you can use level five packers like. Three to four golems, and you can still you you have about the same chance, a quarter chance to get three star for this base, this specific base. But if you use、uh, go hog rider, the chance to get three star, and it's pretty stable strategy for now.、Uh, I don't know any、mm, body can like getting very high chance three star now, and. Those big clans, they can't do that as well.、Um, the big reason is、um, the air sweeper, and also the X modding is not available now. Those big strong clans, they are not as strong as before, but they are still strong because they are like almost full time player. They play this eight hours a day. So、uh, this is a five golem attack strategy with sixteen hog riders. So let's see how it works. This space is pretty hard to use Go Hog Rider because、uh, there are plenty space in the center, and and the queen is in the center. You haven't taken down the queen. It's pretty hard. I fast forward a little bit. So I'm showing you the guys. This is because for Town Hall Ten, you want to have a pretty stable two star. On top of two star, you want to like aiming for three star, right? Like you want to have a chance to get three star. Just like the reason you use、uh, Go White for Town Hall Nine. If you use use if you use Go White for Town Hall Nine, that's pretty much the same reason. You want to pretty sure stable for two star, and you want to push yourself. Or maybe you can't push after you release all your troops, right? You just wait 
uh, on the log whether you can get three star or not. This is pretty much the same idea. Like if you use go go wipe on this, it's kind of the chance of getting three star is lower than go hog rider. But hog rider is pretty hard to control, and you need to know timing very well. So it's kind of um, you can practice at this couple week. Um, the, they have a they have a promotion on like half cost and uh, for hog riders. Uh, again, this is another go hog rider strategy. And after this, I'm going to show you some Tanha Nine replays. So four gold golems, and I don't think ten hog rider will be able to get three star. There's no way for ten hog riders, unless you. It's pretty much if you use that strategy for Tanha Nine, you can get three star, and it pretty. Not stable. I mean, not very stable. Not as good as the other one, like pure hog rider, go hog rider, or like lava loon. Not as strong as that for Tanho Nine. However, for um, for Tanho Nine, you can still have you can have higher chance than regular go wipe strategy with ten hog riders for Tanho Nine. But this for Tanho Ten, there's no way. You only aiming for two star. So, um, the reason we use Hog Rider is we want to take down some defense so that the Golem can, can actually tank all the damage so that the Hog Rider will take down the defense faster than, and than your Wizard because your Wizard need to clean up all the side buildings. What if there's a storage in the center, then it's going to take pretty long time for Wizard to get in. And by, by the time Wizard get in, and they already killed by Inferno Tower, something like that. So I'm going to show you um three star Tanho Nine strategy. Um but any for three star Tanho Nine we did pretty good job. We wipe out almost everything, um but one. Like we're missing one. Because I don't know why. Uh we got ninety two percent on that. That was really good. So um how did we do so good on this? I want to show you that. Um uh, start from number fifteen is Tanho Nine. Start from number fifteen. And you know this that after Tanho, uh, after number fifteen, we pretty much getting like sixteen. We have twice attack, seventeen twice attack, twenty one. We have t four attack, twenty one. Who's that twenty one? I'm going to show you twenty one later. All right. So enemy twenty one four times attack, twenty two twice, twenty four twice, twenty five twice, twenty six sit four time. And 28 four time. You do see that almost every look at this 35 six time. So uh, the bottom one they are easy base, so that's why we can one time to just three star first time, <laughs> first raid. And you notice all of enemy have been attacked the second time. Mo most of them, like 80 percent of them, uh, got twice attacked or or more. So that means. And if you, next time I I can make a video on how to like first six hours or something yeah, on the weekend if I have time I will make a live replay or make a video on that. We actually get almost like two star, one star, and three star on, on every base. And then after that we notice what's in Clan Castle Tube and where pretty much the giant bombs are. And we can use either go wipe shot go. I'm sorry, go Hawk Rider strategy or um, go Lava Loon strategy. So that really helped. The first attack, everybody going to attack almost their opponents, like the opposite number. So that it doesn't matter if you get one star, zero star, but you're always aiming for three star. Because the first shot, you try to get three star. If you're lucky, get three star, then uh, the rest of people don't need to try that again. If not, then um, the people will notice what's in the clan castle and they will try for three star next time. So that's our strategy. The whole clan, we are doing pretty good job every time by now. Um, this is a go, go hog rider for Tanho Nine. So after, th remember, this is a four time attack. This is the last one. So um, after people try many times, you know where is the drying bomb, where are the drying bomb, and the clan castle two is pretty much six wizards. You're never going to try to use balloon attack. Without taking down these six wizards, you know six wizards, they can kill a golem like in three shot. So 
incredible damage if you use if you have a king like well like if you have a king here and being attacked by this six wizards it's like two shot the king died so six wizard you must take him down the good thing is six wizard they are very easy to take him down you can either use two balloons or you use one Valkyrie so I have not shown you anything about Valkyrie right because not many people using that but actually Valkyrie is very good um killing clan castle too especially uh witches uh balloon also did very good job and Valkyrie can do as good as the balloon actually better than balloon uh, Valkyrie taking 8 space, troop space, and balloon only taking 5, so it really depends. No, the only downside of balloon is you can't take down level 6 wizard in one shot. And I don't see any giant bomb on this one, unlike it's except the first giant bomb. So I think it did pretty good strategy on this. It did not step on any giant bomb after the first one. So the other drive bomb must be on this direction. But anyway, it, there, there, there's no defense left. So let me fast forward a little bit for this one. And try to show you another attack that is six times. Yes, the drive bomb just exploded. Alright, um, I'm going to show you it's pretty hard. Num six time attack. Which member was that? Number. Alright. Um, coming, 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 coming. Number 21, we just show you. Number 26 is four time in attack. 28, 26, 28. And. Where's that? Where's that? Why I can't find it no more? Well, anyway, I'm going to show you. Uh, oh, I see. 33. Okay, let's go to 26 and 28, and then we're going to 33. No, it's 28, not 26. I think it's 28. I have bad memory. Alright. Anyway, all this Town Hall 9 is a pretty good example for you guys to learn if you want to see what kind of base this is. And if you see this similar base, and you can watch my video again, or you can replay this to see what's going on. And maybe you can mimic what's like happening in this attack. And you can pretty much end up with a similar result. Um, remember the timing when you try to mimic a like a attack like this. You really need to know the timing. Like you need to be a really mirror copy what's going on. Not like okay, I think his attack from this direction. No, every single detail must be the same. That's called mirror copy. You can't just like like a mirror. All right, so it's pretty clear. Like sometimes a member they did pretty good attack. They said, "Well, it's just like one tiny mistake he made." So if you adjust that tiny mistake, you can three star, and you notice your member got like ninety something percent. Then you want to mimic the whole thing, so you can mirror copy the whole thing, whole attack, and then you just adjust which part he did. He made a mistake, and then you can get three star after fixing his mistake. If he got ninety something, maybe he missing. Um, he forgot to bring like a wizard or a couple archer to clean up. That's a timing problem, and maybe something else problem. So you your clan member attack is really valuable. You can't just like, all right, he failed first attack, like he's doing terrible. So you need to encourage your clan mate like, okay, don't worry, you got zero star. Like the downside is you don't get any bonus. Like if you get one star, don't blame anyone. Just say, oh, well, at least you. You already uh, like you showing that the enemies what's in clan castle troop and you did something uh, uh, contribute to your clan member later on right so that's I do see a lot of clan they say oh you do terrible attack on the, like one star if if that happens every time like for both attack for that clan member and that member doesn't want to improve anything like that then maybe that member. Uh, need to improve or maybe you need to change a new member because they don't want to improve at all so that's kind of downside for how to pick a clan member I'm not clan leader I don't want to be clan leader because I don't have time 
All right, so this space is pretty low, Town Hall 9. It's like new to Town Hall 9, but three star strategy is pretty much the same when Town Hall 9 is new or not. So let's see. Okay, haven't seen this air attack for a pretty long time, and people try to use Go Hawk Rider strategy because um, people feel like Go Hawk Rider strategy is more stable when you guessed where are the giant bombs, like educated guess. You can't like close your eye guess. Okay, the giant bomb must be there. No, you trying to get if you see the base pretty much don't have the two times two by four space, like. Like this 2x4 space. 2x4 space is pretty much again you put double giant bomb. If you see those 2x4, you pretty much you're gonna use air attack. And unless you know what's in it. And if you do not know what's in it, then try air attack first. Maybe you can try your hog rider attack first. If you're lucky, you got 3 star. And then you can benefit to your clan members. So, if you fail. So, anyway. The first attack is really nothing bad, so everybody has first attack. Uh, like you can fail your first attack in my clan, like something like that. Um, so and look at this space. All the double like giant bomb space is outside. If I were the guy, I will try to use go hog rider strategy, and I'm pretty much going to like use four hog riders to test out where are the giant bomb. If I know these four corners are Teslas, then really it's not risk. But I don't know. I think this is number 33, right? This base has been attacked six times. So let's see if this is the, the correct one I chose. Third enemy 33. So use air attack. I don't think if they attack six times, then it's not as easy as it looks. That wastes a lot of our members' attacks six times. Usually, we're doing second time we can get three star. Third time is like pretty maximum. So number thirty three was that the guy I just attacked? No, it's not number thirty three. It's number thirty five. Let me show you number thirty five. What can make us attack six times? This base is obviously you can use air attack. I think I'm going to, if I use two golems, go from the nine o'clock direction, jump in and take down these two air defense. A lightning spell taking down Clan Castle 2 at the same time taking down the enemy queen. That's what my plan. So, okay, he used five lava loon, and which is not popular at this version of the game so uh, I really don't recommend 5 lava hunt strategy in this version but you still have chance to get 3 star but the chance is not as high as before because the air sweeper but if they putting air sweeper pretty wrong place then you can still do it And people now have level 2 to level 3 air sweepers. It's getting higher. Once they get level 5 and level 6, I think by the time the air attack is going to be rarely to see. Doesn't mean you can't use it. It's just the like, if your clan need a 2 star to win, and you try to push a 3 star, and, and you failed, and you got a 1 star or no star, so that is pretty stupid. Like you can't just say, I want to push three star. Like if the risk is really risking yourself, don't do it. If your clan is going to lose anyway, then push yourself to limit to try three star. Like try this strategy, right? You can, like if your attack like one star make a big difference, then don't do that attack. And you uh, don't do a risky attack. Try to something like pretty stable, like go wipe, maybe. So it's just, just like there are tons of different type of choose right right there. You can to choose yeah, you can to you can choose. So you don't necessarily have to take your risk to try three star all the time. But our clan we cuz uh we have so many good members. So that's why we try in three star because somebody will get three star 
and then the second attack. Once we know what's in Clan Castle Troop, that's the hall, very important. And where are the traps? And we can try three star, and it gets more stable. The first time is always now the chance of getting three star for first time attack is about one in ten attack, maybe two in ten, like twenty percent of fifth, pretty low. But the second time attack is going to be um, maybe like sixty percent. So total will be eighty percent, and twenty percent left. We're going to get three time attack or four time. So that's pretty much it about our my clan. Um, my clan is really really strong clan, and like I can show you um, about our war. We only lose one war, and the war we lose was the clan I was in before the Shanghai clan. I was there when when this war actually happened. So um, anyway, uh, it's going to end up this time, and I will see you next time.